Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm in Balti Roche. I'm VP Product at Endor. And with me is Omer Van Kluten, a super developer from Endor. Endor provides automated, accurate predictions. We enable business users across the organization to ask predictive questions and get the prediction immediately instead of initiating a lengthy project with an internal data science team. Let me show you how it works. This is a standard customer account. This customer is asking hundreds of different predictive questions across the organization. Different business users are asking different predictive questions. The credit team is asking questions like, who will take a short-term loan if we will approach them next week? Or who will register to a new revolving credit, a new product that we launched a month ago if we will contact them in the next week? The marketing team is asking a lot of questions about promotions efficiency. Who will uh, upgrade to premium if we will send them a discounted coupon tomorrow? The digital team is asking a lot of questions about online activity. Who will increase online transactions if we'll send them an, an, an in incentive tomorrow? So different questions across business units. These predictions are reoccurring in production, meaning every day the customer is receiving a list of prospects who are likely to say yes to whatever they asked. Whenever you have a new question in mind, Usually, you will, get, you will engage with the data science team and initiate a project. We don't need to do that. We do it all automatically. We simply enter your question. Let's take an example. A, a business user from credit is asking a question about short-term loans. Out of all customers who are active in the last 30 days, who is likely to take a loan in the next week if we will contact them? That's the way we enter your question, completely automatically, from customers who are active who had some kind of a log transaction in the last 30 days, who will take a loan in the next seven days if we will make an action, if we will contact them in the next seven days. That's it. The question is done. We defined it. We don't need to build a model. We can click on Run and get the prediction. You saw how easy it is. So similarly, I can just take this use case and change the time frame. I can ask out of customers who are active in the last three months who will take a loan in the upcoming month if I'll contact them next week. I can change the question altogether to be an operations question, a digital question, a marketing question. That's all that I need to do. It takes me less than a minute to define a new question. Then I click on Run. After 30 minutes, the new predictive report will be ready. Let's see what the report looks like. So the question was, out of customers active in the last month, who will take a short-term loan if approached next week? Customers active in the last month, that actually represents a population of 2.5 million people in this, in this account. It's a real customer. We simply rank them by their likelihood to take a loan if you will approach them next week. So the rank list that you see here, that's the prediction. Two and a half million people, this list goes on and on, ranked by their likelihood to take a loan if you will contact them next week. You can see that the top of the list are most likely to take a loan. They have 70% probability to take a loan if you will contact them. And this is actually 200 times better than just approaching the average person. This is the lift, the strength of the prediction. As I'll go down and down this list, total two and a half million people, the probability will also go down. Therefore, the next question would be, how many people should you act upon? The cut line chart shows you the distribution of the prediction. This is a real customer who is actually choosing to contact everyone with over 40% probability to take a loan next week. Therefore, they are contacting 5,000 people every week from the top of the list. By doing that, they actually tripled their loan sales a week after they started to work with Endor. Your marketing analytics team will want to know what identifies the people at the top of the list. So here they can just browse this dynamic tool and look for post-prediction insights. Let's take a look at some of the insights. People who are likely to take a short-term loan next week are strongly, positively associated with making transactions abroad, being at the age of 35, buying product X, and doing transactions in New York. They are strongly negatively correlated with doing transactions in Boston and buying product Y. This prediction will be refreshed every time that your data will be refreshed on a daily basis. Now, let's see the impact on the business. And these are the two key takeaways that I would like to remember. What's the impact on this bank? And this is a real account. Two things to remember. One, look at the accuracy, the lift. This bank is now selling three times more short-term loans. 16 times more of the new product revolving loan that they revolving credit that they launched a month ago. This means that the Endor accuracy 
is three times or 60 times more accurate than the data scientist internal models. The second thing to remember is predictive scale. It's fully automated. You don't need to initiate lengthy projects. You don't need to prioritize questions with your data science team. You can just ask a question, get the prediction, act upon the prediction, and boost performance immediately. There is no issue of predictive scale. How can we do that? How can we be completely automated and more accurate than machine learning and data science? Endor is a spin out of MIT. We have developed a new technology, a new artificial intelligence technology while at MIT, which is called social physics. Let me show you how it works under the hood. The customer uploads data, raw data. You don't need to clean it. You don't need to extract features. We're not building models. We're just taking your raw data. Once the raw data is uploaded, and it usually takes less than an hour, we create the social sphere of your data. The Endor engine automatically detects hundreds of thousands of groups of people who are likely to behave in the same manner. So the engine automatically group people together since they are acting in the same manner. All of these hubs that are being created right now are groups of people clustered together because something binds them in the real world. They are now taking similar decisions. Some of these groups are static. People belong to the same family, they work in the same company, therefore they are taking similar decisions. Hundreds of thousands of these clusters are dynamic. They are going to change every time that you refresh data. People got promoted, they got fired. There is some kind of a new advertising near your hometown that makes everyone look for similar solutions. Once this is done, the social sphere of your data, we just hit it with any predictive question that you have in mind. Fully automated, we don't build models. I'll be happy to see you. We are at the back. The name is Endor, fully automated, accurate predictions. Thank you very much.